Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Munoz. I hope you're all safe and well. Today I'm going to read you a story titled, Dear Primo. I hope you enjoy it and hope to see you soon. Dear Primo, a letter to my cousin by Duncan Tunatio. Score! I just got a letter from my primo, my cousin Carlitos. I live in America, but he lives in Mexico, where my family is from. Maybe someday we'll meet. Dear Primo Charlie, how are you? Do you wonder like me what life is like far away? I live on a farm surrounded by mountains and trees. My family grows many things, such as maize. We have a burro, pollos, and a gallo. Every morning the gallo crows and crows. <coughs> Dear Primo Carlitos, I live in a city. From my window I can see a bridge and cars zooming by. I can see skyscrapers too. Skyscrapers are buildings so tall they tickle the clouds. At night, all the lights from the city look like the stars from the sky. Every morning, I ride my bicicleta to school. I ride it past the perros and past the nopal. I ride the subway to school. The subway is like a long metal snake, and it travels through tunnels underground. At recess time, I play football. My friend passes me the ball. I kick it with my foot. And if I score, I yell, GOAL! I play basketball. My friend dribbles the ball and passes it to me. I jump and shoot. The ball goes swoosh, nothing but net. When I come home from school, I help my mom cook. My favorite meal is quesadillas. I make them with cheese and tortillas. In America, we have lots of different foods. My favorite is pizza. I like getting a slice on my way home from school. After I finish my homework, my mom lets me go outside and play. In Mexico, we have many games like trompos and canicas. My favorite game is papalotes. My friends and I run and run, and with a little wind, we fly the papalote high up. When I finish my homework, I play games with my friends from the building. We play by the stoop and in each other's apartments too. I like going over to my friend's home to play video games. In the afternoon, it often gets hot. To cool off, I jump in a small rio that is nearby. In the summer, the city gets hot too. I like getting splashed by the fire hydrant when the firefighters open it up and close off the block. On the weekend, I go with my parents to the mercado an open-air market in the town nearby. We sell maize and tunas, a prickly fruit that we grow. On the weekend, I go with my mom to the supermarket. She brings a list, milk, toothpaste, soap, and I check off the items as we put them in our cart. In the town from time to time, they have fiestas that last two or three days. At night, there are cuetes that light up the sky and mariachis that play and play. In my city, sometimes we have parades. People in costumes and uniforms march down the street, and everyone gathers around to watch. There are charros in Mexico that I wish you could see. They do tricks with their caballos and riatas. On the streets here, you can see break dancers who do flips and spin on their heads. In Mexico, we have so many traditions, such as Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. My favorite tradition is attending the December parties called posadas. At the end of each posada, there is a piñata filled with fruit. When someone breaks it, we all get to jump in. In America, we have traditions too, such as Thanksgiving when we eat turkey, and Halloween when we dress up and go trick-or-treating. But I have to stop writing now. My mom just told me I have to brush my teeth and go to bed. I have an idea. My primo should come visit me. My primo should come visit me. The End